Hi, I'm Na from Tata Soul and today I want to show you my new mini plant embroidery kit. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to embroider each plant. Um, we have three designs and you can check out um, the whole embroidery kit in my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box. So let's get started. The first one I will fill with satin stitch. I start from the top, make a stitch to the end of the leaf and then start filling it from one side to the other. Then I used back stitch to do the stock. Just take your needle up through the fabric and then back down about half a centimeter forward. Then take a step forward again before you pull up the needle. Now take your needle up and back down from the last stitch ended. Yep, it is back stitch after all. When you finish the stock, start adding the other leaves. First I like to add volume by do a cross stitch. This is not some fancy name for a stitch, you just literally make a stitch that crosses the leaf from one side to the other. Then use satin stitch to fill up the shape. If all those terms sound new to you, you can view my tutorials for beginners where I teach you how to do back stitch, satin stitch, and other stitches for beginners. Okay, so for our next design, I'm going to use Lazy Daisy stitches, but first let's do the stock using back stitch. Now for the leaves. Pull your needle up and then back down from almost the same spot, but leave about an inch loose. Then take your needle up from the top of the leaf, then enter the loop you created and pull up now secure your stitch by taking your needle back down from the other side of the thread. Keep going like that on all the leaves. Last but not least, I will show you how to do this cool leaf. Start by pulling your needle up and back down to almost the same spot but leave an inch of thread loose. Yeah, that sounds familiar because this stitch is a variation of Lazy Daisy. So then pull your needle from a spot on the outline of the leaf. Now go through the loop you created and pull the thread. This is the first step. Now you will keep adding to the shape by pulling your needle through the middle of the leaf where the base of the heart is. Again, leaving an inch loose, taking the needle up from another spot on the outline, going through the loop you created and pull your thread. When I reach the point of the leaf, I like to add a secure stitch, just to make sure everything will keep in place and I will have a point at the end of the leaf. Then I keep adding more and more to the shape. After I finish the leaf, I do the stock with backstitch. If you are a beginner, don't be afraid to try these techniques. Each plan took me no more than 15 minutes to complete. You can totally do it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to check out all my videos and tutorials. And if you want to find my embroidery kits and patterns, you can do that on my Etsy shop. I have the link waiting for you in the description box. And thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye! Hi guys! Embroidery kit! <laughs>